Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to rotate around an object with the camera full 360 rotation. So super simple. I already have an object set up for my scene here. I have my camera and I'm going to show you guys how to literally rotate that around the camera 360 degrees fully customizable. Uh, first of all, let me let me shrink that down. All right, perfect. So I'm going to add in an empty. So you go to add empty plane axis. I'm going to scale that up larger than my object so I can see it. Now with my empty selected, I want to select my camera and I want to parent the camera to the empty. Sorry, you want to select the camera first and then your empty. Control P object. Now our empty controls our camera here, right? So now all we have to do guys is rotate it on the Z axis just like that and we have to keyframe it. So I'm going to go ahead to frame one. Looks like we're already on frame one here. Select my empty hover over the rotation right here, I to insert a keyframe. I'm gonna head over to frame 60, and then I'm for the Z axis, I'm gonna put in 360. I'm gonna hit I again, and then I'm gonna go to my output properties, and I'm gonna change my end frame to 60. And now guys, if we play this back, you'll see that our camera rotates all the way around 360 degrees. It's that simple. And yes, don't worry, I will show you snap to camera view what that looks like. Now it's gonna look like the object is rotating, but in reality what's happening is we are rotating around the object. And to show you that better visually, I'm gonna turn back on the background. Right now it's set to transparent. Now you can see the background. Now it's really intense. This is just an image background, it's not a real HDRI. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna click under my empty onto my camera here. I'm gonna to go to my settings and I'm gonna enable depth of field. And then I'm gonna set it to something really ridiculously shallow, 0.1, click on my sphere, and I'm gonna adjust it to maybe one, or maybe 0.5 actually. That looks good. And we can also scale this down just a little bit, maybe zoom our camera in a little bit more. Right now we're at a 50 millimeter lens. I'm gonna zoom it into an 85 millimeter lens, scale this down even more, and we have this nice blurred background effect. And now I'm gonna go back to my camera and I'm gonna fine tune this um, right here. So I'm gonna actually go to my material preview so that I can more easily see where my blurred edges are. Um, and I'm gonna actually click off of the sphere. So instead of targeting the sphere, I'm gonna use a custom distance. That looks pretty good right there, 5.3 meters. And then you can hold shift on your f-stop to fine tune those edges there. Holding shift on anything helps you to fine tune it. So in Blender, if, like if I'm adjusting the degree of a rotation and I hold shift, I can more finely increment how I'm adjusting that rotation. So that's a, just a quick pro tip there. But let's go ahead and see how this looks in the rendered view. As you can see, we are rotating around that object very quickly actually. So I'm actually gonna go back to my output properties. I'm just gonna go ahead to, I'm gonna give it 120 frames. I'm gonna click back on my empty and I'm just gonna move this keyframe right here Oh, I don't know. Can you guys see that? Yeah, there we go. I'm going to move this keyframe all the way over to 120. So now we're going to have a nice slow rotation. And I'm going to zoom in. And instead of having our first keyframe on frame zero, I'm actually going to, or sorry, frame one, I'm going to move it to frame zero. So now everything should be all good to go. We have a nice rotation around our object. It was super simple and easy to do. Um, it does look like the depth of field is super intense here. So. You guys can turn that off if you want. I just did it because I personally love the way the depth of field looks. I'll give it an f-stop of one. There we go, that looks a little bit better. So guys, that was just a quick tutorial on how to rotate around an object. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.